if you feel really unhappy at the moment or for a long time already and you really want to change and you think you are too old because you're already 30 or 40 let this be your sign that it's never too late to follow your dreams it's never too late to go after what you want nobody's holding you back but you it's really important to remember that because you have the control over your life you can create whatever you want you can be whoever you want to and don't let other people tell you who you should be and who you should not be if you are in your 30s then society makes you feel like you need to have everything figured out right now you need to have a house, kids, husband society sometimes expect a lot from women especially when they're older or in their 30s then it's really difficult not to feel like you are a failure because if you're 30 and you have no house you have not your dream career you don't have a husband and you don't have kids then people make you feel a certain way they cannot understand why you are already that old in quotes and don't have everything that you are supposed to have but who said that? like who made this plan? who said that women have to be this way? that we have to figure out everything right now? we don't and we are all on the same path and that's called life and we all need to figure out what we want to do with our life who we want to be and nobody has the perfect plan for life but people make you feel like they have and they know everything better and they know what's good for you more than you know what's good for yourself this is a really passionate topic for me because i am 30 i don't have anything that society expects me to have or friends and family questioning when I'm getting married, when I'm having kids and I felt really anxious before I turned 30 because I felt like I don't have all these things that people want me to have and I will obviously not have them until I'm 30 so I freaked out, I got really anxious, really nervous and it just drove me insane and in such a huge depression that I almost didn't get out of it because it was insane and I felt so bad and I don't need to feel that way. Nobody needs to feel that way. If you are in your 30s or in your 40s and you feel like me, you're not alone. And I know for a fact that there are other women in this world that feel the exact same way and they don't have life figured out when they turn 30 or 40 or even 50 sometimes. There's still so much time. Why are you making such a big deal about it? And driving us crazy. It's just not healthy at all and it doesn't bring me anywhere when I constantly get out ask when do you marry i don't know so stop asking me you know it's it's really annoying and hurtful it's not even anyone's business but your business you need to cut out all these negative people in your life that try to tell you what's best for you when it's not the best for you i know some people just they mean well and they say things and they want to protect us but sometimes it does more damage than good and that doesn't help anyone everyone has the right to choose what they want to do with their life i'm not in the position to tell anyone how to live their life i do appreciate their opinion and i also want their opinion because i want their approval and that's wrong 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 <laughs> so wrong i learned this the hard way it's really difficult to make everything right for these people you feel bad because there's there could be things that you want to do for them or that they tell you what you should do and you're like okay i'm doing that because i really like it but most of the time they tell you things like get this job because it's good paid and then you get that job and you hate it but you stay in this job because you don't want to disappoint the family or whoever told you to do this job that's people pleasing and we don't learn anything from people pleasing it doesn't bring us anywhere and i had to learn this the hard way because i struggled for so many years with self-love and insecurities and i never felt fully myself i always felt like i need to be a certain way to please people to make them happy to do what they want me to do so i get their approval and they tell me that i did a good job and it all has to do something with my childhood obviously i got raised like this it's really difficult when you grow up to just change that behavior because it is a part of you in that moment because you learned it from a young age to be a certain way so people accept you, so people like you but I felt like that is love so if I do good things, my mom will be proud of me 
so she will tell me and that makes me feel good so i was constantly chasing that feeling of approval what was wrong because i did things that i didn't even want to do or that i didn't even want to say or i put myself in situation just to please people just to be the good friend who's always there who does anything and everything they want to even if i didn't feel like it even if i didn't want to do it i had no friends that had a big mindset or a different mindset everyone was like that everyone i fall into kind of like a depression and that was the first time that that happened to me it's insane especially if you're so young like I was probably 22 when I felt that way for the first time and I was like this is so energy draining it's so toxic I don't want to do it so I constantly canceled on my friends I told them I'm not feeling good what was never a lie because I never felt good I was like I don't feel good I don't want to come and that was really difficult because every time I told them that I don't want to go they made it very clear that I'm not a good friend if I'm not doing all these things so it was really triggering for me not being that good person, not being that nice friend and the supportive friend, whatever. It was really hard for me and I felt devastated and I cried so much in these times. It's really difficult if you have no one who tells you different and you just feel like you're crazy. Everyone keeps telling you you are the bad friend. And then you think, okay, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm a bad friend maybe they what they say is true and then you start to believe it and you're like okay well i should go more clubbing i should be more outgoing and i should do all these things because then i'm a good friend but i i couldn't i just felt like i can't do this stuff anymore and when i met my boyfriend i was 25 and that changed everything because he was the first person with an open mindset i never met anyone like him before it just changed everything for me basically because he was the first one who really supported me who let me dream super big i could talk to him about anything and everything sometimes you just need one person to change everything to open your mind and who opens you spiritually and you don't get judged and everyone says their opinion and then it's like oh why why do you think that way and then that person explains why and then you're like okay but what is with that and then it goes more and more and deeper and deeper and it's not like oh you believe that that's crazy you're crazy i don't want to talk about this this is just making me irritated that's not a conversation for me like that is unsatisfying as hell like what is that but with him it was always different and it was different from the first moment that i met him and i felt like i knew him my whole life like there was a connection that i cannot describe that i never had with anyone in my life i just want to do my stuff i just want to be the best version that i can be and with that comes growth and i need to step out of my comfort zone way more i stepped out of my comfort zone more than i ever thought i would it was crazy and i'm so proud of myself something that i can really recommend is spending time alone doing something out of your comfort zone doing something that you always wanted to do but you never thought you could do it just try and do it and believe me it will open your eyes it gives you new heights like you think so different about yourself when you do all these things that you thought you could never do and suddenly you can do them and you can overcome your fear and your anxiety and whatever is holding you back and sometimes that means spending time alone solo dates or just spending time by yourself without friends without going party without anything just you in your home or outside doing something fun doing something that you love it helped me so much it helped me grow immensely and i will continue doing this because it just makes me happy and i want to do things that make me happy that fulfill me that feel good to me because that's all that matters and yeah i'm dirty and i can still do whatever i want i'm not missing out on anything i'm still on my journey and i'm so excited to be alive and i'm so grateful for this life and if this video somehow sparked something in you then let's do this journey together like i'm still on my self-grow journey and i'm still trying to figure out my 30s and my life if you want to join me then you're very welcome let's support each other let's grow together make this life as good as we can and i hope you guys have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world